The nice feature of Two's complement representation is that it allows you to do both addition and subtraction as addition problems by simply turning the subtraction problem a minus b into an addition problem of a plus negative b. Since we now know how to easily negate values in Two's complement, this is pretty straightforward. For example, let's perform 15 minus 18 using 6-bit Two's complement representation. 15 minus 18 is equal to 15 plus a negative 18. And 15 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. 18 is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. To convert 18 to minus 18, we flip all the bits and add 1. This results in 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, which is equal to minus 18. We can now take our two's complement representation of our two numbers and add them together. Whenever we add 1 plus 1 in binary, that produces a 0 plus a carry of 1. So our final sum is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. To see what this number is equal to, we again flip the bits and add 1. Flipping the bits, we get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and adding 1 to that, we get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, which equals 3, which means that 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 is equal to negative 3, which is the result we expected to get when performing 15 minus 18. Let's try another example. 27 minus 6 equals 27 plus a negative 6. 27 is equal to 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the 4th plus 2 cubed plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0. So in 2's complement representation, this number is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 6 is equal to 4 plus 2, which is equal to 2 squared plus 2 to the power 1 so its 6-bit binary representation is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. To find the representation of negative 6, we flip all the bits and add 1, resulting in 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. When we add these two numbers together, remembering that in binary, 1 plus 1 produces a 0 plus a carry of 1, we find that our result ends up having 7 bits. This most significant bit is dropped because we are working with 6-bit representation in this case. So our final result is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is equal to 2 to the 4th plus 2 squared plus 2 to the power 0, which equals 16 plus 4 plus 1, or 21. If you try adding two numbers whose result is beyond the range of numbers that can be represented using your n-bit representation, then that means that overflow occurred. Overflow can be detected by looking at the sign of the two numbers being added and the sign of the resulting number. If you try adding two positive numbers where the most significant bit is 0 and your result ends up being negative, your most significant bit is a 1, then overflow occurred. Similarly, if you try adding two negative numbers whose most significant bit is 1 and you end up with a result that is positive where the most significant bit is 0, then once again overflow occurred. Overflow cannot occur when you add a positive and negative number that are within range. Let's take a look at an example of this. Suppose we try adding 31 plus 12 using 6-bit 2's complement. This results in 101011, which has its most significant bit equal to 1, even though we were adding two positive numbers. This means that overflow occurred. Overflow occurred because the result of adding these two numbers is 43, which is larger than 2 to the 5th minus 1, or 31, which is the largest positive number that can be represented using 6-bit 2's complement.